Welcome to Forehand Frenzy. If there's tennis going on, we're talking about it. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 best male tennis players who never won a Grand Slam. Throughout the history of tennis, there have been countless talented players who have dedicated their entire lives to the sport, worked tirelessly to improve their skills, and given it their all on the court. However, despite their best efforts, some of these incredible players never managed to win a Grand Slam title, which is one of the most prestigious achievements in the tennis world. Without further ado, let's get right into the top 10 best male tennis players who never won a Grand Slam. Number 10, David Nalbandian. Nalbandian turned pro in 2000 and enjoyed a successful career, winning 11 ATP singles titles and reaching a career high ranking of world number 3 in 2006. Despite his numerous accomplishments, Nalbandian was never able to capture a Grand Slam title, falling short in several close matches. He came closest at the 2002 Wimbledon Championships, in which he reached the final but lost out to Leighton Hewitt over a 5 set match. What made Nalbandian a tough opponent was his versatile playing style which combined powerful ground strokes with a deft touch and excellent court sense. Despite retiring in 2013, his legacy continues to inspire younger players and his skill and talent on the court are still fondly remembered by fans of the sport to this day. Number 9, Tim Hemmen. Tim Hemmen reached 6 Grand Slam semi-finals, 4 of which were at Wimbledon and he won 15 ATP titles during his career. Despite never winning a major title, Henman was a fan favourite, known for his attacking serve and volley style of play and his gentlemanly conduct both on and off the court. He was also a stalwart of the British Davis Cup team, playing in 39 ties and winning 40 rubbers. Henman's best chance at winning a Grand Slam came at Wimbledon where he reached the semi-finals four times in five years between 1998 and 2002. However, he was unable to make it to the final on any of those occasions, losing out to the likes of Goran Ivanisevic and Pete Sampras. Number 8 Tony Roche, born in 1945, the Australian was a dangerous competitor throughout the 1960s and 1970s and was known for his powerful left-handed serve and strong baseline game. Roche reached the finals of four Grand Slam tournaments during his career but was never able to clinch the titles. His best performances came at the Australian Open where he reached the final in 1968 and 1971 only to lose both times to compatriot and fellow tennis great Rod Laver. Despite falling short in his quest for a Grand Slam victory, Roche's contributions to the sport of tennis are undeniable. He won a total of 15 singles titles and 31 doubles titles throughout his career and was a key member of Australia's Davis Cup winning teams in 1965, 1966 and 1967. Number 7, Joe Wilfred Songa. The Frenchman, who turned professional in 2004, enjoyed a successful career winning 18 ATP titles, including the ATP Finals in 2008. He also reached the final of the Australian Open in 2008, the semi-finals of Wimbledon in 2011, and the French Open in 2013. Songa's aggressive style of play, athleticism, and explosive power made him a fan favourite. He had a knack for producing stunning upsets against the very best players in the world, including the likes of Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer. Despite his numerous achievements, Songa never managed to win a Grand Slam title, coming closest at the Australian Open in 2008, at which he lost out to Novak Djokovic over a four-set match in the final. Number 6. Marcelo Rios Marcelo Rios achieved a career-high ranking of world number one in 1998, becoming the first Latin American player to do so. Rios was known for his aggressive and precise shot making. He won 18 singles titles, including 5 ATP Masters 1000 titles, and he reached the final of the Australian Open in 1998, losing to Petra Korda in straight sets. Despite his impressive accomplishments, Rios never won a Grand Slam title. His best result was reaching the quarterfinal of the French Open and the US Open in 1998. Injuries and a tumultuous relationship with the media and fans may have hindered his chances of winning a major. Number 5. Todd Martin. Todd Martin was one of the top male tennis players of his era, reaching a career-high ranking of number 4 in the world. Despite his remarkable achievements, Martin is often overlooked when discussing the greatest players never to have won a Grand Slam. Martin played in two Grand Slam finals during his career, but he came up short on both occasions. He lost to Pete Sampras at the 1994 Australian Open and to Goran Ivanisevic at the 1999 Wimbledon Championships. Despite these defeats, 
Martin's talent and consistency were undeniable. Throughout his career, he won eight ATP titles and he reached the semi-finals or better at all four Grand Slam tournaments. He was known for his powerful serve and for his intelligent, strategic gameplay. Martin was also a respected figure off the court. He served as president of the ATP Player Council for four years. Number 4. Cedric Peely Peely's best performances came in the late 1990s when he reached two Grand Slam finals, Wimbledon in 1997 and the US Open in 1993, both of which he lost in straight sets. He also won five ATP singles titles, including two ATP Masters 1000 events, and he reached a career-high ranking of world number 5 in the year 2000. Peely was known for his powerful serve, his smooth and effortless ground strokes, and his aggressive style of play. Play. His ability to change the pace and direction of the ball made him a tough opponent for many of the game's best players. Despite his undeniable talent, Pialin never managed to capture a Grand Slam title. Number 3. Guillermo Coria Guillermo Coria was one of the top-ranked players in the world for several years, however the Argentine never managed to win a Grand Slam title. Coria's rise to fame was meteoric. In the year 2003, he reached the final of the French Open, where he lost to Juan Carlos Ferrero in a five-set thriller. He continued to dominate the clay court circuit, winning several titles and reaching the final of the Monte Carlo Masters three times in a row. Although Coria never won a Grand Slam, his contribution to the sport of tennis cannot be underestimated. Number 2. Miloslav Messier Messier was born in Slovakia in 1964 and he turned professional in 1980. He quickly made a name for himself as a skilled and versatile player known for his agility and his speed on the court. He reached a career-high ranking of number 4 in 1989 and won 11 singles titles and 9 doubles titles in his career. Messier had a reputation for being a tough opponent, particularly on hard courts. He was known for his ability to change the pace and spin of the ball, keeping his opponents off balance and frustrated. He was also a very talented doubles player, winning three Grand Slam titles in men's doubles and mixed doubles. Despite his impressive accomplishments, Messier never managed to win a Grand Slam singles title. He came close several times. He reached the finals of the US Open in 1986 and the Australian Open in 1989, but ultimately he fell short on both occasions. Many attribute this to injuries that plagued Messier throughout his career, including back and shoulder problems. Number 1. Henry Leconte Leconte turned pro in 1980 and quickly established himself as one of the most gifted players on tour. Despite reaching the finals of three major tournaments, the French Open in 1988 and Wimbledon and the US Open in 1991, Leconte was never able to lift a Grand Slam trophy. However, his thrilling and flamboyant style of play won him many admirers and ensured that he would always remain a fan favourite throughout his career. Leconte was known for his stylish backhand and for his ability to perform form under pressure. He was also a fierce competitor who never gave up, even when facing seemingly insurmountable odds. Thank you for watching our video today on the top 10 best male tennis players who never won a Grand Slam. We hope that you enjoyed learning about these talented athletes and about their incredible careers. If you're a fan of tennis, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to hit the notification bell to stay up to date about all of our latest videos. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, keep hitting those forehands, and we'll see you in the next video.